If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. And praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. So we have um, some 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 wild news. I mean, not well, not really wild, but we have some news coming from across the pond. You know what I'm saying? We got some news coming from Big Turkey, Alice Sheik, in regards to an all-British showdown. And no, I'm not talking about Daniel Dubois versus AJ, you know, Triple D versus Anthony Joshua that's coming up, you know, uh, September 21st. I'm talking about a potential, another potential all-British showdown super showdown that should have happened you know some years ago you know if, if you're thinking about the the, the the time period and when when they came up and how they came up man so big turk alashik has announced that he's still interested in making the mega fight between tyson fury and anthony joshua man. you know what i'm saying good old fury and aj and the crazy part about this is the exciting part about this is that he wants the fight to happen regardless if tyson fury beats Usyk or not you know what i'm saying so he could lose he still wants to he wants to fight but it is contingent on if anthony joshua beats old triple d You know what I'm saying? Daniel Dynamite Dubois. So I think that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Because um, shout out to Daniel Dynamite Dubois. You know, um, he, he, he's a good fighter. You know, his last two performances were great against Jarrell and Baby Miller. And most, um, and to me, which was even more impressive was his performance against uh, Philip Hergovich, who a lot of people had uh, winning. You know, we considered him the boogeyman of the heavyweight division that nobody wanted to fight. And Daniel Dubois not only went in there and showed out, he showed up and he showed out and he got the stoppage. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Dynamite Dubois. I actually think that he's gonna have he's gonna pull the upset against Anthony Joshua, which I still I think that AJ is the favorite. I mean we're not not think we know AJ's a favorite and he should be the favorite. So I don't think it's like any way a wash by any means. But I, I am leaning towards Dynamite Dubois and he's the one that could spoil, you know, the party again, again, again for the Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury, which should have happened a long time ago as far as timeline goes. But I think this is good news, man, because you know, in the scenario that Anthony Joshua does handle business against Dynamite Dubois, there's no added pressure on Tyson Fury because you know and it, and it makes sense you know it makes sense that Tyson Fury would still fight Anthony Joshua even if Tyson Fury loses to Usyk because guess what they both have in common they'll have the common denominator of both losing to Usyk and then they'll also have the commonality of them both losing twice to Usyk damn I'm sorry so you know say I think that has no I think I think Tur Big Turk is right it should it shouldn't be contingent on whether or not Fury wins but it it should be contingent on whether or not Anthony Joshua wins because his last two his last two performances were great as well but it was still against Otto Wallen and Francis Ngannou who we expect to win we expect Anthony Joshua to win regardless of how impressive the, the, the victory came you know what I'm saying it looked good so well yeah I, I look forward to this man hopefully it does happen this is good news for the boxing boxing realm especially the British boxing realm because I think that uh, this fight sh should have happened a long time ago we're finally going to get it because while, while, while it's still hot and while people are still interested because you know looking at it we see anthony joshua still looking good and and even you could even kind of say he um he he he, he kind of rebuilt himself right you know what i'm saying his, his career has been revitalized since losing to anthony joshua i mean since losing to andy ruiz and uh and uh alexander Usyk. but we as far as you know everybody's thoughts and our our our, our perspective on um on Tyson Fury, we kind of feel like he's towards the end of his career. Not saying he's not uh, still a championship level fighter, but we don't foresee him getting any better. You could argue that Anthony Joshua, you know, he's on the rebound. He's even looking better. But Tyson Fury, I still think he's the best heavyweight, well, second best heavyweight after Alexander Usyk. I still think that he's still great. He beats a lot of people. And I still, I think he would beat Anthony Joshua. Bullshit! 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 But as far as where, where he's at in his career, I don't think anybody will see him getting better at this point. You know what I'm saying? So I think this fight needs to happen sooner than later. And um, hopefully it does happen soon. It's, I'm, I'm kind of torn because, like I said, I'm going for Daniel Dubois to beat Anthony Joshua. But at the same time, I selfishly want Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury. <laughs> So I kind of want Anthony Joshua to beat Dubois now. So I don't know how it's going to go, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that fight. Are you still interested? Do you feel like it was too long overdue that you're no longer uh, interested in that fight? You know what I'm saying? Or, or or is this good news? To me, it's good news. I want to see Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. Um, but I am going for Dubois against Joshua. But I want to be mad that Joshua wins now. So I appreciate y'all rocking me. As always, y'all be easy. Take care of yourselves. Remember, with God, we can do anything without God. We're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.